Hi, this is Paul from wave5trade.com. I wanted to give you an example for one of our signals from the 12th of February uh, longs. So basically we have in our membership site for potential long trades, potential short trades. Members simply click on the image to download each day and they download the longs and the short potential fifth wave trades for each day. So let's have a quick look at what the spreadsheet looks like that they download. So here we can see on the shorts we have weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. We have the same for longs. I'm going to choose a long today because we've got over 50 potential long swing trades on the fifth wave for Monday after this uh, quite good pullback. So let's go to a chart. Okay, so I said there's over 50 potential trades on just on the daily time frame alone for potential fifth wave longs uh, starting from Monday the 12th of February. For those members already, I always go through how to set up where to isolate the bar count on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Again, I'm using the Ninja Trader version for this. So when we look back left here, June, July of 2017, it was very range bound. But that's when the trend started. So this is when we the isolate the, uh, the Elliott Wave count down here at the bottom. So let's just zoom in a little bit to see where we are right now. You'll notice on the bottom, the 535 oscillator has come down between 90 and 140%. That's one of our filter criteria on the scanner results for the membership. Also, the stochastic has crossed over in the oversold zone. So again, that's another filter. And also finally, the wave four pullback has found support in one of our automated pullback zones. So here we can see we've, we've found support in the red zone here, which is a 75% probability. It's gonna go and make a new high to our automated target zone here around about $475 for ISRG. So this is ISRG on the daily. We've had the wave four pullback. So Thursday we had a big solid red bar. Friday we had bounce. So we've got a bullish harami forming here. More importantly, we found support in one of our pullback zones. Now, just recently, this pullback has been quite severe, quite deep, but there's still a lot of potential trade setting up there. They're probably not going to trigger on Monday, but we need to start setting them up and putting our uh, entry strategies together. So very basically, very simple to set these up. Once we've isolated the bar count, we've got our automated target zone up here. We've got our low for the wave four, so stop loss just goes below this wave four low here. And then the entry goes at 413.48, I put it. So above uh, Tuesday's big green candle, because that was the last time it had the big uh, attempt that moving away from this support zone and it failed and we had some further days of selling off. So what I've done is a conservative entry at 413.48 with a stop loss down here just under $380. Uh, with the potential target $475 gives us a risk to reward of around about 1 to 1.7, 1.8. So really good risk to reward there. We always find a little bit of resistance at the wave 3, but the fifth wave impulse leg, although the, not the strongest, is the highest probability. So it usually goes on and makes a new wave 5 high. So that's it for today for ISRG for Monday the 12th of February on the daily time frame we've had the wave 4 pullback we're looking for that fifth wave long now. I just want to go through a trade from last week that I set up on one of the videos for PFF here. So this was PFF that I set up on one of the daily videos that I do. I just wanted to go through the trade management of a trade like this. This was on the 60 minute time frame for a short. This is PFF, the, uh, the ETF here. So I set this up um, on Thursday morning before the markets here and the short entry went into my entry at 36.96. Again with this wave four pullback, it's similar, very similar for the shorts as well. We've got a, an automated target zone here. We've got the 535 oscillator pulling back. We've got the, in the short case, we've got the stochastic crossing over in the overbought zone. 
wait for find uh, resistance now it's coming back down so this was the short entry so Thursday we had a great run down closed really relatively near the lows then Friday we continued that but once we see starts to see sign of exhaustion here on this 60 minute candle you've got to start putting your trading stop in to protect profits and that's what I did so we almost hit the target zone but then we had a big bounce across the markets in the last few hours of Friday so you've got to protect those stops because it, it almost hit that but it still took profit at 1.6 percent profit on the account balance there so this was the risk to reward between the stop loss and the entry it was almost two you know one to two down to the target zone we got that exhaustion so you've got to start thinking about you've got to take and protect that profits so this was just a, a, an example of one of the short setups that we get on our signal service as well so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow